Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a couple of perfumes to share my thoughts on with you guys. Now I just want to do a little bit of a preface to this video because as I've told you guys in recent videos, I am no longer wanting to bring perfumes into my collection. Um, I have gone through and really culled my collection down to the ones that I think speak to me the most, that I think I'm going to get the most use out of, the most wear out of. Um, I no longer desire to continually grow my collection and this i feel like very at peace with and very strongly about and i know that i've wavered before about whether i wanted to let it grow whether i wanted to minimize it to like 10 or 15 perfumes i wasn't really sure what i wanted to do and honestly you guys i just i noticed that it's sort of a cycle which is between um, sticking to my minimalist roots versus falling back into the perfume purchasing and collecting trap. Um, a lot of that was fueled by watching other videos about perfumes because obviously when you hear people talk about new perfumes, you want to then purchase more perfumes for yourself. You get influenced. Um, you hear people talk a lot about certain ones. The power of influence eventually sucks you in. And so as with any other sort of addiction that you're dealing with, if you're trying to avoid something, you don't want to be surrounding yourself with that thing. So I have not been watching a lot of perf. In fact, I haven't been watching any perfume videos at all lately. I've been turning my sights more towards skincare, um, sunscreens. That's really about it. My, my huge vice and my huge passion at the moment is really just honing in on my skincare, especially since I recently started using tretinoin, which if you guys are interested, I am sharing my tretinoin journey over on my Instagram stories. So definitely head over there and follow me. I am posting frequent updates as to how my skin is looking. I am now 34 days on tretinoin, but that's a little side tangent. So that's kind of where most of my efforts have been going to lately. It's just like wellness, um, self-care and yeah, that's about it. Wellness, self-care, and just like doing things that bring me a lot of joy, surrounding myself with things that bring me a lot of joy. And like I told you guys in one of my more recent videos, I would rather spend a hundred dollars on a great skincare serum that's going to eventually improve my life and my skin and my sense of well-being over time versus 150 or 200 or even more expensive perfume that is likely just going to sit there and I'm hardly going to get any use out of it because I already have so many perfumes. So for me, it just seems like I have no business purchasing any more perfumes at this point in time. Um, have I been tempted? Absolutely. I will share with you guys that I have purchased three Chanel perfumes and then immediately returned them because I knew as soon as I pushed that button that what the heck was I thinking? I did not need to buy those three Chanel perfumes, but that just goes to show how strong the habit is and it's a difficult one to break. So I purchased them and I immediately returned them. I do not have them anymore. It's not about wouldn't I like them? Sure, I'd like them, but I don't need them. I don't need to have every perfume that is nice. I don't need to have every perfume that comes along that strikes my fancy. And that just comes down to self-control and just being strict with yourself and yeah, that's really about it. It's breaking that breaking that shopping habit and breaking that habit of continually bringing more perfumes into my collection. So that being said, you guys, that is a roundabout way of getting back to the point, which is today's video is a kind of a review of a couple perfumes that were sent to me through PR. Now I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel about this in general. I'm really not excited or motivated to get perfumes sent to me at the moment, nor am I super motivated or passionate about reviewing them. However, I am in contract with a couple of companies. I'm going to continue to have perfume sent to me. That's just how it is, at least for the foreseeable future. So I was trying to think, how can I turn this around and make it something I'm excited to do? Because I can't help the fact that I have agreed to review fragrances um, that are being sent to me. And I decided that the best way to do that would be to do a monthly giveaway. So I know that that will be exciting for me because it makes me really happy to do giveaways. I love making other people happy. Um, it makes me really excited that I can do something for somebody else and make somebody else's day and give them a perfume that they might otherwise not be able to purchase for whatever reason. And also I thought it would be great for you guys because you guys have a chance to enter a monthly giveaway 
to win a perfume. So every single month I will be giving away one perfume and yeah, all you have to do to enter to win is watch the video, leave me a comment down below, head on over and follow me on Instagram as well, give this video a like and you are automatically entered to win the perfume. So all you have to do is pay for the shipping but the perfume itself will be free and you do have to live within Canada or the US and that's really about it. So that makes me really excited. It's a way that I can um, be excited to share my thoughts on these perfumes with you guys, be super honest about how I feel about the perfumes and also just make it kind of something that I'm a little bit more inspired to do versus sharing thoughts on perfumes that maybe I don't even want in my collection. Yeah, so I'm not bringing any more perfumes into my collection. If I bring a perfume into the house, if, if you see a perfume in a video that's new and I am going to be keeping that perfume, I will tell that to you very clearly so that you can understand like, oh, are you collecting again or what's going on? If I am sent a perfume in PR, that doesn't mean I'm going to keep it. Um, I keep my own quote unquote personal collection, like the collection that I actually wear and use on a regular basis. I keep that totally separate from stuff that's sent to me in PR because if I didn't, I would just end up with hundreds and hundreds literally of perfume. So yeah, this is my way of mitigating the world of YouTube and the fact that I am going to be sent things and also I'll try to keep my own personal collection small. So I hope that that makes sense to you guys. I really was like racking my brain over this and thinking, how can I mitigate this? Because as I told you guys, I'm not into the whole consumerism thing. I don't want new perfumes every single month. I just don't. Um, there was a point in time when I did, but I just don't at this point in time. Let's get on into the video. And also because this video is in collaboration with Fragrance Spot, I will let you guys know they're having a Canada Day sale. All of the details for their sale will be down in the description box, but this is a great chance to save a whole bunch of money on perfumes. If you are in the market to buy new fragrances, you can get them at huge discounts. Um, and there's going to be a lot of other perks that I will put in detail in the description box down below. So this would be the time that you would want to shop for perfumes if you want to save. Fragrance Buy does ship to both Canada and the United States. They have amazing customer service and they have a great selection of celebrity niche and designer perfumes. So take advantage of this sale if you are looking to do some perfume shopping. All right, you guys. So the first fragrance that I want to talk about is Mont Sparkling Bouquet. So I had asked this one to be sent to me because I love the original Mangerlan, as you guys know, and I'm also a huge fan of Mangerlan Intense. Um, honestly, even the Eau de Toilette, there's not many um, fragrances from the Mangerlan range that I don't love. I think that they're all very beautiful in their own way. And this is one that I hadn't tried before myself. They used to have a Mangerlan Floral, which as you guys know, that one was one of my favorite ones. It was a little bit more of a floral a floral take on the original Mangerlan. However, that one was discontinued. So I really wish that they still had the floral version. This one I was kind of hoping would be kind of similar to that floral version since it is called Sparkling Bouquet. However, this kind of fell short for me and I will tell you guys why. So first of all, the notes that you have in here are pear, bergamot, mandarin, orange, lavender, peony, jasmine sandback, Tahitian vanilla, white musk, and sandalwood. So this is a citrusy, powdery, vanilla, kind of a floral fragrance. The bottle is really, really beautiful. I like the contrast between the red, red, for Mon and then the black writing for Guerlain. Um, the bottle is just very elegant and very regal looking. The cap is beautiful. This one, however, in terms of scent, it smells very, very much like the original Mangerlan, maybe a little bit more like the Eau de Toilette. It's lacking a little bit of that vanilla, deep, powdery depth um, and a little bit of that warmth that you have in the original Mangerlan. This one definitely does smell a little lighter and brighter and fresher, but not really citrusy. Like it doesn't come across citrusy. And this one actually kind of reminds me of the Eau de Toilette. That's what I would say is that the scent itself really reminds me of the EDT. And so it's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Love the way this smells. I'll show you guys what the atomizer looks like. Very, very pretty atomizer. Um, and it's a stunning fragrance. However, I'm just going to spray a little bit in the cap here so I can kind of refresh my nose here. Yeah, definitely it does have a little bit more of a citrusy freshness, a little bit of an oranginess when you first spray it but that does dissipate and then the dry down is very similar to the original Mangerlan. The issue that I have with this perfume, you guys, is the performance. The performance on this, I will be honest, is abysmal. Like, really, really terrible. I actually wore this uh, one day just to test it out, and I sprayed 
lots of sprays because I could tell just by the strength of the perfume when I first sprayed it, I could tell how much I was gonna have to spray. It was very soft, it was very light. I bet you I probably sprayed a good 10 to 12 sprays and I'm not even kidding. And I don't think anybody could smell this on me and I could not smell it on myself as I was going about my day. Um, so this one is beautiful, but it's fleeting. I would honestly not recommend it. If you're interested in Mangerlan, which I think everybody kind of should be because it's beautiful, it might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I do think that it is truly one of the best ranges that's ever been created. Um, I would go with just the original Mangerlan, or if you want something with a little bit more oomph and a little bit more depth and sexiness, maybe something better for a date night or better for cold weather like fall winter, go with the Mangerlan Intense. Like as I'm standing here right now, I can smell this perfume, it's wafting up around me, but very, very subtle. It just is not very strong and it doesn't last very long on the skin or on clothing. It would be a nice one for a super hot, humid day if you just needed something to lightly mist on yourself as a refreshment, but something that isn't going to last very long. That's at least been my experience. It literally is kind of like an aqua allegoria kind of vibe where it's there one minute, it's gone the next. Like Joe Malone lasts way longer than this. Like Peony and Blush Suede, Wood Sage and Sea Salt, um, all of those light Joe Malone fragrances that you would expect to have not great performance, honestly, outperformed this one by a landslide. So I think it's beautiful. I think it's a beautiful scent, but it is not one that I would recommend specifically just because of the longevity. All right. And the next one, you guys, is one that I don't think I've spoken about on my channel before. This is C. Passion Eclat, and this is the star of the show today. This is the one that I'm going to be giving away from today's video to one lucky person. So if you're interested in winning this perfume totally for free, all you have to pay is the shipping. Um, make sure to follow the rules that I've listed previously and enter to win this perfume. Um, so this fragrance is a black currant rose fragrance. It also has some bergamot in it. It has a little bit of Madagascar vanilla, and it's also a very musky fragrance with two different types of rose. So it comes in this really stunning red bottle. I think that one thing about Giorgio Armani is that all of the bottles and the scents themselves are very elegant. They're very chic. They're very sophisticated. And I personally love a lot of Armani perfumes. I honestly feel like Armani does such a great job of fragrances. And this one here, so this is like a beautiful like summertime version of, of Armani C. For the notes that are listed, I'll be honest, I, I expected this to be a little bit more deep. I expected it to be a little bit sweeter. Um, this is actually a tester bottle, so it tells you on the side what is in it. Um, but to me, it almost smells fruity, as if it has a bit of pineapple or something in it. It almost has this like subtle fruity accord to it. I'll show you what the atom atomizer looks like. How beautiful is this bottle, you guys? Very nice, very nice atomizer. And I'm just going to put just a little more in the cap just to refresh my nose a little bit here for you guys. So very, very rosy, very classy, very elegant. When you first spray it, there is a little bit of a citrus, citrus touch to it. And like I say, even a little bit of a fruity touch to it as well, I pick up on, which is interesting because there's not a lot of fruitiness listed. There is cassis and there is bergamot. But if you told me that there was even a little bit of pineapple or something in here, I would have believed you. What I like about this one is that it's very soapy and it's very musky and very elegant. Um, it does have okay performance. This is one that you can definitely smell on yourself. It's not a beast. It's not a monster. It's not going to fill a room, but it does have a little bit more longevity and um, presence, especially compared to the Mongerlan Sparkling Bouquet. This one definitely beats out Sparkling Bouquet, in my opinion, just because of the fact that it does have better performance. Personally, I prefer the scent profile of Mongerlan over C. Passion. C. Passion has never been my favorite line from Giorgio Armani. I don't care so much for the original. I don't care so much. I think there's an intense one. Didn't really love the intense one. The Eclat is very beautiful, but still this is not my personal favorite type of perfume. That's just me being perfectly honest. But if you like something that is rosy, sophisticated, classy, elegant, um, really a very easy grab and go perfume. You could wear this every single day as a signature scent. You could wear it all throughout the summer. It's going to be fresh enough to wear during the summer, but it's going to have a little bit of staying power. And it is definitely very, very soapy. It's just like soapy and light and fresh. 
it's a soapy light fresh rose very subtle very soft um I don't honestly get a lot of that vanilla. Even on my skin, I don't get a lot of vanilla. It does come through a little bit in the dry down, but not a lot otherwise. So don't expect that this perfume will be a super vanilla infused type of fragrance. The vanilla is just very, very understated. It's mostly that rosy musk with a little bit of freshness and a little bit of a bitter wine quality coming from the Cassis. So that is C Passion. This one I would definitely recommend over the Blooming Bouquet. Um, would I go out and buy it myself? No, I would not, just because this personal, this scent profile is personally not my favorite. But those are my thoughts on C Passione Clat. I have to say that my favorite C perfume from the entire C range is C Intense. And that one for me has the most body, it has the most character, um, it's very beautiful, it's very elegant, it's a compliment getter. I really, really love the C Passion or sorry, the C Intense, and you can also get that one at a huge discount on Fragrance Buy as well. If you're looking for the Armani C that I think has the most oomph and the most bang for your buck and the one that is gonna be the longest lasting, farthest projecting, super sexy, super feminine, elegant, everyday, classy, formal, office friendly, definitely go with C Intense. So those are my thoughts on this fragrance and this is the giveaway for this month. So that was it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on these fragrances and I hope to see you all very soon in my next one.